Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and welcome to Learning Game Development. We're going to learn all the basics you're going to need to know to get yourself started on that road to video game development. Now, there are many, many engines that you can use. One I've worked with for a decade now is Unity. That is my engine of choice, but there are many others like CryEngine or Unreal. Obviously, I think it's down to personal choice. And the idea of all of this, what we're doing here, is to give you an insight of how Unity works so you can make an informed decision of whether you want to continue using Unity as your engine of choice or not. So first and foremost, let's get straight into it. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon as well. Stay subscribed and you can carry on with me with all your learning. So firstly, if you want to use the Unity engine, you will need to go to unity.com, as you can see right here. And the way this engine works is it presents you with a hub, and a hub is a way of storing all the different versions. Versions is something we'll touch upon later on. So how do we get started? Well, we click the big old get started button, and that will bring us to what's something that looks very scary. Obviously, this channel is all about doing things for free developing for free, learning, understanding. So we are an individual and we are using it for personal use. And as you can see there, the eligibility is saying revenue or funding less than $100,000 in the last 12 months. Obviously for personal use, you're not gonna get any funding or you're not going to make $100,000 uh, in 12 months unless you are extremely good, at which point you will have no problems paying for some of the more expensive lines. So we need to click on get started and then start here and agree to download and it will download something called the Unity Hub. Obviously once that's installed you would just need to get it all up and running and it will look a little something like this. Now there are a couple of different versions of the Unity Hub. Um, by the time you see this it could be Unity Hub 3, 4, 5 whatever, but essentially it's going to be the same, whether it's version 1 or whether it's version 10, who knows. But all you will need to have is the installs and the projects tab up here. So what is this installs tab? This is all the versions that you have of Unity and you can add different versions depending on which one you choose to have as your default and as your personal preference. Now, like I said, we will touch upon versions a, a little later on. Uh, because there is a lot of information to go through when it comes to versions of Unity. Um, so all we would need to do at this point is click on Add. And personally, I would recommend the recommended release. Uh, the reason I say this is because all these other official releases are so they could be somewhat outdated or they could be a little bit buggy. Uh, but generally, I found that even now, Unity version 2018 and 2019 are absolutely fantastic engines to use. Obviously new features come in and out, uh, but like I say, I would recommend whatever is selected as the recommended release. You would click on next and it will ask you to bring in the modules. And again, this is something we'll touch upon uh, later on, but essentially all we need to know at this point is what do you want to develop for? And let's select it and click done and it will install. It may take a little while to install depending on your connection and depending on your uh, specs of your PC. Uh, but once you've done that, you will click on projects and obviously you can see all the projects that I currently have and what I'm working on. And we would need to click on the arrow next to new and then select whatever version you wish to use. So for example, if I was to choose version 2022.1, I would select this one and then I can choose from various templates that we can see right here. And these are known as different render engines. You may have heard this in the past where you've got 3D, we have the HDRP, which is high definition, and the URP, which is the standard one. Most projects that you will work in are likely to work within 3D. However, if you're aiming for something quite intense, I would go with the high definition render pipeline. Things do work a little uh, differently, but you may need to upgrade, do whatever you need to. But for all intents and purposes, 3D will normally do you just fine. Uh, so you would name your project right here and you would also choose the location of where you want to save it. Then you would click on create. So I think at this point it's worth noting that the Unity Hub in and of itself is a great place to store everything. 
If you ever close the Unity Hub and need to come back into it, your project will be saved right here. And you can see the target platform, you can change it if you need to. Obviously that's modified, but you just need to select it and it will indeed load that project. Again, it's something that may take a little while. It's something that may take, you know, a couple of seconds. It depends on your PC mainly. If you've got an SSD, obviously the, al the alpha, the time it's going to take is uh, considerably less. Uh, so you may also come across this slightly before. Uh, so it's saying basically, um, it's, if it's safe with a different version, you just need to reconfigure it or re-import it. This is usually when you change versions or when you update or when you use, in this case, an alpha version, which I have. So all you need to do is just click continue and it will bring you straight into your actual project. Now, this is going to take just a couple of moments to uh, load in. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the uh, basics of Unity itself. And we're going to talk about what things are for and what they are. And hopefully by the end of all of what we're doing here, all 12 sections of uh, this series, you will know where to go, what to do. And then I will also show you what you can do from here on in to learn more and more. So. Hopefully I will see you guys around in the next video. And if this is the long version of the video, I'll see you in a second. Thanks very much for watching.